We are two days from the end of the Gospel of John, 21 days of praying, reading, and reflecting. And I'm gonna to try to share my thoughts on John chapter 20 from the front porch here. Now I will say if it gets noisy, Bo and Luke Duke just drove by and were really loud in their car. I did not see Roscoe P. Coltrane. BJ and the Bear drove by right after that. They were pretty loud. Now I'm really dating myself as a child born in 1970 that would not have missed either of those programs when they ran on TV. And even earlier, I believe Evil Knievel went by. So it's pretty noisy and I have just name dropped some great pop culture from the 1970s and 80s. So there you go, you're welcome. John chapter 20, Jesus has risen from the grave and he's appearing this little story that I'm going to read, a paragraph starting at verse 19 and ending at verse 23 is when he appears to his disciples. Listen what happens. On the evening of that day, the first day of the week, the doors being locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples were glad when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, even so I am sending you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you withhold forgiveness from any, it is withheld. This is a mind boggling section of scripture because you know we think so much about the Holy Spirit on the day of Pentecost in the first couple chapters of the book of Acts, just a few pages later than this the Holy Spirit landing on the believers, looks like flames, like a dove, like you know, Peter giving his great address to the people of Jerusalem, 3,000 baptized that day. But here's Jesus in a private gathering with his disciples who were pretty much hiding out from the Jews that wanted to get them. He breathed on them said receive the Holy Spirit there goes evil evil can evil receive the Holy Spirit and he did that right after he said as the Father has sent me even so I'm sending you he is sending out the disciples to spread the gospel and to do that he's equipping them with the Holy Spirit now, I spoke to you a few more times this week about the Holy Spirit because it's been quite a topic in this latter part of the Gospel of John. I also told you I'll be speaking from chapter 16 tomorrow morning, verses 1 through 11, that give a really, really good description of what the Holy Spirit's all about and what He does. Be there for that tomorrow. I have a video about chapter 21. Hopefully in the morning, if I can pull it off, if not, uh, in the afternoon after we have our worship service, hopefully in the morning. That I've said this week, and I'll reiterate now, that I'm going to slow down a bit and start reading a chapter each two days of the book of Acts after this. So, chapter one, I'll do that Monday. Chapter two, I'll wait till Wednesday. Have a couple days to digest it. Now, I've said pray read reflect through these three weeks and i want you to do that as you come to the bible each and every time you go into it pray we need to pray we need to be more and more of a praying church for every circumstance but when we go to the bible we need to pray for discernment and understanding because sometimes the bible's hard then we do need to read it pray read read through it maybe read through it a couple times and then finally i say reflect that's where I want you to prayerfully contemplate, meditate on how it relates 
how does this scripture relate to you, your family, your work, your life, your circumstances? Pray, read, reflect. We'll go into the book of Acts after that. And I said earlier too that once we go through the book of Acts, 28 chapters, I wanna slow down even further for the book of Romans, one chapter a week. And we'll be studying that, God willing and the creek don't rise, one chapter a week in the fall and winter. Book of Romans, really a Christianity 101. But join us tomorrow morning. We'll have a good time at worship together, seeking our Savior to get closer to Him and to get to know like-minded people in our chapel. We do have our baby shower tomorrow for baby Casper, who is our fourth baby boy of the year. Um, it's a blessing that we've got a couple more expected mothers already right now so there must be something in the water but we'll take it lord's blessing us down there in the hollow come be part of it sunday morning at 11. bye bye